Do you know what you mean when you tell someone I love you? This is Working Definitions Episode 5, Love. This one's actually kind of the reason I started this series, because the idea of defining love in general is absurd. It's the word we use to describe our relationship to the things that are most important to us. What you think love means is deeply personal and subjective. I couldn't possibly tell anybody what they mean when they say love. But a lot of people also really stress about whether they love people, whether those people love them, how to tell, and what the difference is between love and attraction, or obligation, or admiration. And I think I've got a pretty good definition for folks who want to make those questions a little easier to parse. The way I use it. And I'm going to be kind of grammatical here. I'm going to say object. And what I mean is the object of the sentence, the part that receives the action of the verb. To love means to take a proactive interest in the well-being of the object. I told a friend of mine about this definition recently, and they said, by that definition, I love my car. So I asked them, is your interest in your car's well-being really proactive? Do you do things for it to make it nicer? Or do you just react when it demands maintenance? The word proactive is really important in this definition. It's not enough to just want the best for someone, or even to be available when they ask. Love means being conscious of the ways that you can support a person's well-being and pursuing them. And there's a few things that I really like about this definition. First and foremost, it creates terms with which to evaluate questions of love. Do I love this person? Is this a loving thing to do? Do they love me? Like if somebody says, I love you, this framework gives you tools with which to decide whether you think they're telling the truth. And also, if you've ever dealt with self-esteem issues, you've almost certainly been told you need to love yourself, which does not feel like particularly actionable advice. But if to love someone is to take a proactive interest in their well-being, it becomes a little easier to see what the advice is. Be willing to expend effort and endure discomfort in order to do things that will contribute to your overall well-being, physically, emotionally, spiritually, etc. And the other thing I really like about it is it gives a pretty clear idea of how to make love part of your everyday practice and lifestyle. To cultivate love is something you pursue naturally and reflexively. I personally try to approach the world with a baseline of mild love, all else being equal to be willing to wander out of my comfort zone a little bit to make things better for other people. That's not to say I succeed, by the way, I mostly don't. It's a very high standard, but that's what I'm going for. I know this conception of love feels really inadequate to a lot of people, like it limits what love can be. And that's fine. If you want love to be your word for feelings and experiences that can't be expressed any more precisely than that, love totally works. But if you liked this definition, share it with someone you love.